guys, thanks for watching. Hey, Harley Davidson just came out with something new. Is it another new bike? I don't know, we'll find out. But first, before we get to the video, uh, if you haven't already, send me pictures of whatever you're riding. I wanna know what kind of bikes you guys are riding out there. Subscribe to the channel, send me some photos in the email that's listed in the description below, and tell me a little bit about you and the bike. I'll feature you on the channel. That's all you gotta do, subscribe, send me some pictures only of your bike, and uh, I will get it up there on the channel. Anyway, back to the video. With the popularity of Harley-Davidson Street Glide, it's no wonder that they chose this bike with its gigantic batwing fairing to release a new limited edition color scheme. The name of this new paint scheme? Arctic Blast. The bold paint features a hexagon pattern on the fairing and is hand-painted by Gunslinger Custom Paint in Golden, Colorado. Only 500 of these bikes with the Arctic Blast paint scheme will be available with its unique serial number painted on the gas tank. This bike comes equipped with the 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine, and although base models start at $27,099, the Arctic Blast series will start at a whopping $38,899. The good news is this bike comes equipped with the Reflex Defensive Rider System, or RDRS system. Harley has also made available a slim top case that you can purchase for the amount of $1,699. With the present rollout of the Sportster S and the Pan America, it looks like Harley wants to focus attention on the tried and true models that people love. Between the new Icon bikes and this series, I think Harley is showing a balance in an ever-changing market. Due to the exclusiveness of this series, my guess is that Harley will sell out almost immediately. They actually became available on August 9th. Time for a segment of Your Bike Spotlight. Well, hey guys, this bike belongs to John. He has a 2019 FTR race replica with a stock seat, Indian single saddlebag, Dunlop Trail Smart tires, blacked out windscreen, uh, and the Oxford grip heaters, CRG bar end mirrors, and he also changed the tank covers to the black ones from the base model. So he's ridden the bike over 7,000 miles since getting it at the end of summer last year. The only issue he has had is the cold start. And yep, I can totally relate with that. Uh, John just turned 60 and plans to ride his FTR over 100,000 miles like he did on his Aprilia Falco. He also mentioned he was doing a 50s plus ride to Baker City in the upcoming weeks. And uh, man, I think that's awesome, John. Uh, I love that you have it set up for some touring, and uh, just remember, be safe out there, and thanks for sharing your bike with us here on the channel. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I've got to be honest with you, I'm kind of torn on this. I think Harley-Davidson has shown that they're focusing on newer generation. They've got the Pan America, and now the Sportster S with that new Revolution motor, which is great. Um, they're also focusing on the Icons models, as well as now this new Arctic Blast paint scheme. I got to be honest about the paint scheme, though. They're only releasing $500. they are asking $7,000 almost for this paint scheme. In my opinion, it just seems like little more than just a money grab. That's just me. Leave in the comments below what your thoughts are. I'm sure I'll get some hate on that. Uh, and I don't think they'll have any problem moving these bikes. There's a lot of uh, hardcore HD fans out there that will move these bikes. Personally, I don't like the colors on the bike. I, I like the one tone, and uh, honestly, you know, even, even my 2013 has some pinstriping and stuff I don't like. I just kind of like that single color. My preference, though, but send in uh, photos of your bike, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll feature it on my, uh, on my YouTube channel here. So thanks for watching, and as always, ride safe out there. Till next time, guys.